And so we'll have those culprits that'll come to try to destroy um, the harmony of the friendship and, well, I say the relationship that would then rob the benefit of the friendship. And this is where in marriage we have to contend for the belief, for the faith right. of making sure that we stay together because we decided yeah. that we will walk together in this life mm -hmm. to the end. Hey, welcome to another episode of His Wife, Her Husband. Is my mic on? Yes, yeah. I am Shamika, his wife. And I am Patrick, her husband. Our purpose is to help you build. And sustain your, and sustain your marriage. From a biblical perspective, today we are talking about uh, friendship in the marriage. Is that right? Yeah, you know I got a song. Okay, hold on. Before you sing the song, listen, if you're, <laughs> if, so I've been watching other like video things and apparently video things yeah what's it called youtube oh, apparently okay. there's algorithms so to help that to help us <laughs> fight the algorithm demon i don't know this joke uh please uh like subscribe share comment uh on this video if you know anybody uh if we've been saying anything that that you feel like adds value to uh, you and to someone else, uh, please share the video. Yep. Friends. That's good. How many of us have them? Friends. Ones we can depend on. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's old school. If you, if you. Forty and up, you know, probably under forty. They don't know what that is. Don't do. You need to look it up. Yeah. Come on. Come on. As friends, it's it's interesting. Yeah. They're important. Uh huh. Come on. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No, no, no. You're good. You're oh, good. you go. So here's Paper, the thing. Paper, scissors, rock. Okay. okay. Here's the thing. Um, I guess I I I heard a statement one time, um, in the barbershop, and the guy he was actually saying that his wife is not his best friend. Neither does he think she should be his best friend. Wow. So again, I would I would ask the his wife, her husband, family, you know, you know, I guess that's the first comment. What do you think? Do you think that spouses should be best friends or should be, yeah, good friends in the relationship? And if they're not, I guess the question we're gonna try to attempt to that we're gonna attempt to ask is, I mean answer is how do husband and wife become that particular yeah. Uh, close relationship in the friendship. I yeah. mean, friendship in the in the marriage. Yeah. I think that, um, you know, when you think about friendship, right, if if there has if there has been some reasons for for, uh, you know, I ain't gonna say some reasons. If there have been some things that have if there are things that have happened that will prevent uh, one from even wanting their spouse to be friends, that's understandable. You know, meaning like if there has been some mistrust or distrust, you know, maybe mm -hmm. maybe one of the spouses hadn't come through on their word. They really hadn't been there for them during maybe hard times. Mm -hmm. They're not uh, celebratory during good times. Um, they're just absent, you mm -hmm. know. So I get it. So sometimes it'd be like, no. We are not friends. Like, we just serve in time. This is our mm -hmm. duty to each other. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and it's and, and we realize that it's some people that's functioning that's like that. I call that existing. Mm -hmm. They're just serving their time, finishing it out. They don't want, they don't, don't get too close to me. We just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I jump off. You jump in. Mm -hmm. It's just, it is what it is. Um, but I do believe that that is not the way that God intended for it to be. Mm -hmm. That in order to have an uh, an intimate relationship with another individual, meaning your spouse, that it requires a uh, total friendship. I think that is the yeah. uh, apex of um, you know, like that's one of the I ain't gonna say apex. That's one of the top benefits of being married. Apex. Apex, okay. Right, I agree with you. Uh huh. That that that, that is one of the, the the best benefits of being in a in a close intimate relationship yeah. with someone. Um, yeah. 
So I, I think one of the things that, and this is my opinion, that some, that because the spouses aren't friends mm -hmm. has been one of the reasons why um, things don't work out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think there are many other factors, but I do believe uh, not being a friend or your spouse not being your friend. And in this, in this text, and, and I think mm -hmm. the I think your best friend, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's good. And when we say friends, too, that they mean, they mean like your go-to person. That's your first go-to person on earth. We know Correct. that you, you know, we do know that you go to the Lord about everything. Right. Uh, and you seek him first and foremost. Like, that's understood. Mm -hmm. We are not saying to idolize your spouse uh, in any shape, form, or fashion. Right. But we are saying don't minimize their presence either. And so it is important that we, you know, stay connected, mm -hmm. you know, as best we can. I just read an article uh, with this about this couple, and she was stating that in the beginning, like, they had to grow to that. Uh, but Correct. in the beginning, they were not best friends. And what created that for them in their marriage was she, they ended up moving because of his job. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot who she said was her best friend at the time. But now it's like, okay, because you said turn to. She mm -hmm. had to turn to her husband about a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, that was concerning her and her job and her feelings and emotions and stuff like that. Yeah. And so now this person I'm turning to, most of the time. Yeah. You said that's the key word, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so but I guess the other part would be if your spouse is turning to you in terms of, you know, voicing what their feelings and what their emotions, are you being, are you pushing pushing them away? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. again, we, we understand that it takes two, mm -hmm. uh, but we're just trying to give, you know, some solutions as to how this thing would work. Mm -hmm. So... And you said something, too, so that push away mm -hmm. would definitely be disturbances and interrupters to the friendship process. Yeah. Because it's a process. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. And she, that's what she mentioned, the process. And, and so so if you're in a marriage, so let's say they're, they're, they're in a marriage and they're not, they're not best friends. Mm -hmm. And they're not against it. They're just, it's just not, that's just not what it is. I just believe that growing in this tight friendship between you and your spouse is going to help the longevity of the marriage um, because even for for me in our marriage I would say when we became best friends it became easier um, not to not to cheat you, you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. like I'm not saying that you know temptation doesn't happen but I'm like okay I don't want to hurt my friend so it became um, it gave me a little bit more strength to push the other woman away or not to even mentally want to approach another woman in our marriage because I'm thinking about the friendship that 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 we have, mm -hmm. well, then, that we had mm -hmm. and that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that helps out a little bit, you know. It does. It helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things, too, that I want to bring up is when I, and we, we just mentioned process. And um, you're not gonna you're not gonna have process without time. Mm -hmm. So time brings about friendship, yeah. shared experiences, whether those are moments of disappointments, or if there are moments of victory. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, you're sharing those moments together. Like the article you mentioned, um, she w she told him about her frustrations at work, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure she even shared about maybe those times where she felt like she was on top of her game yeah. at work. But the point is, is that in, in the way a person becomes a friend or a friendship is that you communicate, that you take the time out to say, "Hey, mm -hmm. look, check out what happened," or "Guess what happened," or you you know you 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 share your tears, those mm -hmm. moments that you maybe wouldn't want to share with anyone else. Um, well, let me say this. You probably wouldn't want to have it because I don't think any of us be like, ooh, I want tears today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's like I'm feeling sad. Who can I share this moment with because I don't want to be alone? Yeah. And we do know in the scriptures that God said it's not good for man to be alone. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times we hear that, like from the masculine standpoint, whenever we hear the word man, that it Im implies the masculine version of man. But I would 
tend to say that humankind is not good for humanity or humankind right. to be out of connection out With of other human beings. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And particularly your 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 spouse. Yeah, yeah. For this for yeah. this episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. for this episode, we are saying yeah for this episode. So it's not good for husbands and wives to be functioning or existing together and not connecting. Mm -hmm. And so it's better together. And that better together doesn't mean just in the same atmosphere, in the same space. But it's like, I want to be together with you in thought. I want to be together with you in my experiences. I want to be together with you in time. I want to be together with you in my prayers. Yeah. I want to be. I, I want to have you in mind, yeah. right? And when you love somebody and you have them in mind, it's an automatic friendship. Again, that's one of the byproducts of being in relationship. Mm -hmm. It's friendship, right? And and I and I even think about the word friend in my mind. At the end, it has e n d, you know, friend, you know, to the end of time. Oh, okay, gotcha. Anyway, I was just thinking about to the end of time. And so, one of my favorite movies is um, Lord of the Rings. I love the series, and uh, I want to say this was. I think this was series two. I want to say that's the Towers. It's so funny. I can't remember the name. But anyway, Frodo and Samwise Gamgee was traveling together. And they was trying to get the ring. And uh, Samwise was Frodo's good friend and keeping him on track to accomplish the goal that he was trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, when you get a chance, it is a book series, but I want you to just look at it on, you know, on one of the streaming devices. But one of the things that Frodo said once they finally came to the end of all things, he said, I am glad that you were here with me at the end of all things. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's what true friendship is. Yeah. And there was no hokey pokey, none of that crazy stuff going on. It was just genuine, <laughs> oh, I had to say that, it was genuine friendship right. that was happening. And even when Samwise Gamgee was accused of not being a true friend by, uh, okay, I always think, forget that little funny looking thing mm -hmm. name. But anyway, when he was accused of not being a true friend, Samwise Gamgee still stuck it out. Right. And so we'll have those culprits that'll come to try to destroy um, the harmony of the friendship and, well, I say the relationship that would then rob the benefit of the friendship. And mm -hmm. this is where in marriage we have to contend for, uh, uh, I'll say, to contend for the belief, for the faith right. of making sure that we stay together because we decided yeah. that we will walk together in this life mm -hmm. to the end mm -hmm. and that we don't want to just be existing together and just in space and I'm rolling my eyes at you constantly mm -hmm. and you hating to see me come. That's not mm -hmm. true thriving and living. But there is a such thing as being in relationship and experiencing the gift of friendship within that when you have time and mm -hmm. moments and stuff together. So so the word of God says that a, that a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave and cleave to his wife. And so and we've said it before on another video that our belief is that the most important relationship outside of you and God, if, if you're married, the most important relationship is between you and your spouse. And any other relationship, any relationship that threatens the cleaving of mm -hmm. you and your spouse, mm -hmm. um, you need to check it or put it in check. Mm -hmm. Whether it be friend, whether it be father, whether it be your mother, your sister, your brother, like any relationship outside of that that threatens that friendship from happening the yeah cleaving i like yeah, that said, but, uh, mm -hmm. threatening the cleaving part mm -hmm. that means we are we are working that means we're developing we are going through the process of learning one another's habits one another's bents one another's um fears yeah frustration yeah we're, yeah we're going through that process and we are communicating with one another to make sure uh, that we understand each other. So I think that's another thing is in the communicating part or in the friendship part is not I'm trying to lord over you or be domineering, but yeah. I am learning you. I am listening in the communication part. I am listening with the intent to understand <laughs> what what you're going through. Uh, I, I would like to even venture to say who you are. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who you are, and 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 what it is about whatever it is that, that makes, makes you tick. tick. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Friendship. Yeah. 
there's friendship right there. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that that is I, you, that was that was very good. And and uh, what came to my mind when you was talking about uh, the Cleveland process, I think about the Constitution. They say anything that would threaten. Uh, Threaten what is that? Threaten the I can't remember the word, yeah, but anyway, domestic or foreign. Domestic or foreign. That. That's mm -hmm. it. And so sometimes these things can crop up from within. Correct. Or it could be without. So, and so, so don't 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 move too fast because that's a part I want you to stretch out because mm -hmm. there's something inside of us. Yeah. That's threatening. Yeah, the, friend, the, the friendship the or cleaving. threatening the cleaving process mm -hmm. between the husband and the wife. And then that's something that we have to put in check. I'm always trying to get other people or trying to get people to do an internal inventory of your emotions, of your feelings, of your habits, of you know, your thought process and see if am I the reason am I the reason why the marriage is not working? Am I the reason why, you know what I'm saying, we're having a problem building in this friendship am i the reason why and if you can look at yourself like i think i think there's always room for improvement i think there's always an opportunity for improvement in everyone and if i if i spend my time focusing on me it kind of it kind of keeps me from really Fault being finder. concerned mm -hmm. about a lot of things that you're doing because I'm more concerned about making sure that i but again it takes honesty if you're not honest about what you're doing about your part in this, mm -hmm. not I do this because of them. But no, even if they do it, why you still don't have to do whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. So take the inventory, figure out, okay, especially if there's a split or there's a the, the marriage is not working. Mm -hmm. Figure out where can you say you dropped the ball? Mm -hmm. Like what 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 part what part do you did play? you play mm -hmm. in y'all and you all not having a solid cleaving. Yeah. Uh, type of type of marriage yeah. uh, so that has to be number one and if you focus on you they'll see, they will see the change yeah. and either they'll change or they'll they'll rearrange whatever yeah. happens yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah 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 uh i think you just mentioned too about the uh about the the, the, the domestic or the internal and external mm -hmm. threats um so sometimes in in and this is just us being human like because we have come in contact with other people, um, you, it has a tendency to follow us. Our experiences and moments they stay with us. Mm -hmm. We what I'm saying is we can't unknow what happened to us. Correct. That happened personally to me, and I felt it. I felt what happened to me personally. Yeah. And so now it makes me raise my eyebrow if you move a certain way, if you yeah. sound a certain way, your or tone. Or if you touch me a certain way, because when you was thinking, I was thinking about. Like if someone who has been violated, like a, maybe a yes. woman who has been violated, mm -hmm. and it may be hard for her to be intimate the way yeah. she should want, she should or be. Or the other person, her spouse. With her want. husband. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, it, so and it can be frustrating. You know, hey, listen, this is what happened with me. But in that process of healing, and I hate when people tell people to get over it. Like mm -hmm. I understand what they're saying. Like if you don't find a way to deal with that past experience, it will hinder the marriage from going It'll forward. It'll keep cropping up. But yeah. that's why communication is so important in the cleaving and becoming a friend. Because if it's your friend and you haven't, like it's just you and your girlfriend, like girlfriend, you know, you'd be like, girl, I'm having that thing again. It's happening again. There's an emotion again. Well, I'm still thinking about, girl, it'll be all right. Like girlfriends are there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. No so, judging, they just there. Right. So that means in the process, you know, baby, this is, you know, I'm starting to feel some kind of way. Or, baby, I'm sorry for last night. Then whatever that is, you have to properly communicate to your spouse why. And maybe you hadn't told your spouse. Uh -huh. I was getting ready. And there's to, a mm -hmm. there's a fear. Go ahead. Uh -huh. I was getting ready to say, and that's the thing that we have to, and this is the work part. This is the work. This is the part we often want to avoid, and that is, what is his or her apprehension to being my friend? Yeah. That means you will have to ask the question, mm -hmm. baby. Why 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 won't you choose me? Mm -hmm. And and now and and the thing with now now this this is going to be a transparent moment. I know a lot of times we don't want to ask the question because we run the risk of being told, no, you don't need to know that. Or don't, you know, don't ask that. Don't open that. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like it could go a whole different route. 
but then you don't ever want it to be said that you didn't ask. Right. But then you want to ex- exercise wisdom on when you ask. Mm-hmm. Some things are table talk. Some things are pillow talk. Mm-hmm. Like you don't bring pillow talk to the table. That's right. not the place to talk about that. Right. So you want to make sure that the atmosphere is uh, conducive. You want to make sure that the mindset is engaged. Mm-hmm. And you want to make sure that you really, really do um, you're asking with the intent of really trying to discover and find out what happened to you because I really do care about you yeah. and and uh, and I want to have I want to be your friend. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So make sure. You Excuse me. Wait uh-huh. a minute, one right. more thing. Uh-huh. So then the other thing too is when your spouse is your friend, then you won't have to look outside of your marriage That's for good. friends for benefits. Correct. Because now this is the thing. The only reason why we usually step outside of the marriage. Usually, I mean, like the majority of the time, I want to say 10 times out of 10, it's because that would be all the uh-huh, time. That's all the time uh-huh, it's usually because some need has not been met. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the part where you were just saying, Patrick, now I will have to uh, do an inventory or an assessment of myself. Where have I dropped the ball? Mm-hmm. Is it really something that maybe I played a part in? I know they did it, mm-hmm. but did I contribute or push them to the other person? And this is not this because some people who are being abused yeah, say, uh-huh. you know, had the, you know, yeah, that's had not, I not this. done this, he would like we're not talking about that. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about generally, can you generally look and say, okay, yeah, I see where I started falling back from this, yeah, yeah. you know, and created an opportunity for another woman to come in. Yeah, this is the part, too, I have to admit that is a frustration of mine in this time that we live in. It's like that we have to give so many disclaimers because of the workings of sin. Mm-hmm. It's so freaking frustrating because <laughs> the truth of the matter is, is that a lot of this wasn't even an issue prior to sin's progression, I guess, you know, in, in all of our dealings. So if anything that I say or Patrick say that may be come off as uh, being insensitive, we apologize in advance. That is not what we are doing. We are not minimizing or dismissing um, what maybe what you have experienced. Again, we are here to help, um, help you to at least look down uh, the corridors of time to see that in the future you too could have a stable and, and uh, established marriage, mm-hmm. that it is possible. Correct. But you have to really want it and really be willing to put in the work. Will things crop up? They will crop up. Uh, one of the things that come to my mind is uh, my, my daughter and I, we recently started gardening. And um, and so if you have done any gardening, if you have had a flower bed or maybe you grew up with a grandmama that tended to a garden, you know the hard work that it comes with uh, uh, with harvesting, with sowing and harvesting. You got to break up ground. You got to decide. Well, before you break up the ground, you got to decide where you want to where you want to plant. That's it right there. You had to decide what it is that I want to experience. And so you don't just go throwing seed out there any kind of way. You you say I want I want okra this uh this season. I want tomatoes or I want cucumbers. And you organize it and you prioritize your time and your your you know, you get your, your mind together, you know you need your energy, you need your mindset, you got you considering the sun you have to contend with, when is it forecasted to run? It's just so many components that come into planting. But when you really have made your mind up, you get out there and you do the work. Right. But the point I'm trying to make is once you plant that seed and you plant it in the ground you have broken the ground up but now you got to keep the weeds away mm-hmm. that means you have to show up every day that if anything threatens to choke out what you have planted mm-hmm. you get yourself up and you remove it mm-hmm. immediately mm-hmm. waiting one day it may cost you your harvest mm-hmm. so i can't wait any longer why i want to experience this today yeah that's what happened with in in the beginning when just to have neighbors in the garden too, huh? Just to have neighbors in the garden. Mm. And so she was having a conversation with someone outside of the marriage that she should not have had. Threatening. It however, came, came threatening. However, peace. Mm. Adam was there yeah. watching the whole thing unfold. So there was a part internal mm. that he should have stepped up and chopped the serpent's head and, off. And took and 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 not disrupted yeah. that conversation that yeah. was, that they were having uh-huh. uh disrupted 
mm-hmm. and interrupted, yeah. interrupted and disrupted the conversation yeah. that was being had. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was trying to. That's you know, good because a lot of times we don't want to intercept, right? And so, you know, what come to my what mind. You mean we don't want to intercept. We don't want to intercept our, the process. Like, I, I can just imagine. Adam probably like, well, I ain't going to say nothing. Ah, it ain't that serious. No, it's that serious. Right. You know, at that moment that you see it, it's that serious. Now, you want to handle it with wisdom. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times we'll see things and be like, well, no, that's not what it is. No, yeah, that is what it is. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes I can imagine spouses say, oh, you just insecure. Well, yeah, I am insecure. So now reassure me that I'm not just seeing or hearing what I thought I saw and I heard because I felt some kind of way. Mm-hmm. And if you don't deal with it, I'm going to deal with it. You know what I mean? I, so I do know what you mean. Facts. And I, uh, oh, okay. I do know what you mean. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. I was I was the one when you were talking saying, well, well, baby, you can't really. If you do that all the time, that becomes annoying to the person who always thinks somebody's trying to talk to somebody. That's true. So we're not talking about jumping I, the gun every time. Yeah, we're talking yeah. about you see that there's a conversation that's being had. And and in this conversation between the serpent and Eve. He was saying something that was totally opposite to what God had directed Adam. Okay. So Adam gave, so God gave Adam directions. Yeah. Adam obviously gave it to Eve because she knew what they were. Yeah. Now the serpent is coming and he's saying something totally different than what God had told, that what God gave Adam. Yeah. At that point, he should have stepped in. Now, why do I believe that he was there the whole time? Because the scripture said, and she turned and gave him to him also. Mm-hmm. She didn't and go find him. He right. wasn't. You feel what I'm uh-huh. saying? Uh-huh. So, so yes, when you see something that doesn't like, wait a minute, oh, that look kind of like, hold up. Let's, let's just keep it a book. We, we know, we know, like, like we're not going to play games. Come like on. we don't know when a dude trying to push up on your gal and when a girl trying to push up on your guy. Like we know what those things are. Amen. And so at the moment you see that, when you see something, say something. You know what yeah, I'm saying? you deal with it. Cause that, you know, what came to my mind was uh, the, your message Sunday mm-hmm. uh, about the Christian chicken, right. right? So it's like, oh, baby, so-and-so brought me some chicken. Like, oh, okay, that was that. Now, you may not think anything of it. Why? Because they went to the, he just brought a combo, or she just brought a combo. Didn't think nothing of it, <laughs> nothing at all. I think about Martin. <laughs> That's so funny. When Gina borrowed $20 from Cole. So, like, no, baby, you don't borrow twenty dollars from Cole. You come ask me. She said, "Well, I knew you didn't have it, Martin." Well, that's fine. I'll go to Cole and ask Cole to let me borrow twenty dollars, and I give you the twenty dollars. Now that you didn't, now that Cole didn't gave you twenty dollars, you his slave, not baby, you his love slave. Mercy, <laughs> mercy. So anyway, listen. When you see it, you say it. Um, yeah, you do. Or you inquire it. about it. You know, yeah. you may not go off. You may not go off the handle about these things, but. Yeah, you we're know, not saying you, that. Don't be, don't be. You know immature. when it, you know when somebody's like, okay, wait a minute, no, that's as soon as I like how you just did that's it too that much question. there. How you just kind of went to Chick Fil A again by y'all yourself. Head, you know, it's kind of like at the moment your mind say, because eh, you again you can read into tones. You like it's so much more to communicating than right. just words. It's body language. Mm-hmm. It's tone. It's gestures. It's facial features. It's all kind of things, the, the workings that happen that's, say, that's being said without it being said. Yeah. Um, but then it's that, oh, God, like, well, well, well when I brought you a come on, you ain't yeah. get happy like that. So right. what's up with that? Right. Like, what else he didn't brought you? What else she didn't brought you? Right. Like, what else she giving you? What, what else he didn't get? Yeah. What? what What kind of friendship is being developed at work? Did you hear that word you again? It cropped up again. Yeah. What kind of friendship? It's being developed. Now, you're in the workplace, yeah. but then it's more to it that's happening than just work. Correct. And that's the part we have to remember in this life, that it's always some chemistry. It's always some workings, whether it's an obvious wave or some undercurrents. Mm-hmm. It's always energy mm-hmm. and motion that's working. Mm-hmm. And that's the part we have to um, have to be aware of and we have to address in love mm-hmm. um, when we see these things because like you know thinking about Joshua he said as for me and my house right. we gonna serve the Lord as for me and my marriage we gonna be friends like right. it's certain things that you have to it, you come to a point where you make a decision that this is what we will experience mm-hmm. we're gonna do this together while we said I do you said you would I said I would and and, and we need to get to it 
I guess I guess for me again, and I'm asking the question. I don't think I have an immediate answer right now. Is the people who don't believe that spouses should be friends like I don't I don't like what is what I'm is pretty that? sure I'm listen that? nine times out of ten some counseling need to be need to take place mm -hmm. you can almost bank on it that some hurt or some disappointment has happened and therefore they don't want to fool with that person anymore mm -hmm. you it, it, no one signs up to be uh to be in a relationship with someone uh, transparent or naked and you don't want them to be your friend mm -hmm. now of course it depends on how they see friendship uh, friendship mm -hmm. okay so sometimes you know m uh, sometimes friendships can uh, be toxic and negative so you know of course you wouldn't talk hold on you, you so m so most of the time uh, or sometimes people can be friends and they do dirt together well, okay, no, I don't mm -hmm. want to. I don't want my spouse to be my friend w as far as dirt is concerned. Mm -hmm. Like going out, I don't know, looking at Rob women. Bank no I don't know. Y you know, I'm I'm thinking about as far as in relationship. <laughs> you said bank robbery. Bunny, Bunny and Clyde. But you know, mm -hmm. like I wouldn't want to say, man, look at that. You know, I wouldn't want you to say, man, look at her, man, she is fine. Like, no, I wouldn't want that. But then, if that's how his frame of reference for friendship is, mm -hmm. then that's why he can't see his spouse being his friend. Cause I'm not getting ready to tell her that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it I, I, nine times out of ten, the definition of or his um, his perspective of friendship is skewed. Gotcha. So uh -huh. how do they? How do we get there then? So how do so we let's get say unskewed? so let's say uh, -uh. Okay. so let's say let's say that you, here you have a husband and wife they're not friends. Okay. And we're saying that that's an important part of marriage. It is a benefit. It's, it's a mm -hmm. it's an important benefit of mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. is to being your spouse's friend. Mm -hmm. How do we get there? How do we get to friendship? How do we get to the friendship? Oh, I've okay. been married for fifteen years. We haven't been friends. I don't really see how that's going to benefit, you know, even if I'm willing to take the chance. To I'm willing to take the opportunity mm -hmm. to be my spouse's friend mm -hmm. or to build this friendship mm -hmm. for the next 10 years. Because okay. 25 is when things start going, unraveling, if there's not a, a good foundation of friendship there. How do I, what do I need to do? That's good, Patrick. I'm glad you asked. So the first thing you want to do is just pick up the phone and say, hey, boo. <laughs> It's like, uh, hello? <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, what it is you need? What you? It is you need? Uh huh. <laughs> what it is you need? You? Me? What the H you need with me? Everything. <laughs> and he say, well, what's everything? Can you come through the door? Ready? <laughs> what was you, you talking yeah, about? I'm just, I'm, I'm building friendship because it's goofy stuff. Mm -hmm. Usually, you know, you think about it. Usually a friendship starts with a smile and laughter. Mm -hmm. You know, you're making that other person feel good. Okay. You know what I mean? So anyway, now you said they've been together for 15 years. They just don't a, have a friendship. They're not, friends, mm -hmm. they're not friends. But uh -huh. they, I mean, they're cordial to one another. They, yeah, they're they cordial, can't, but they they're out, not they friends. Kick it. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right. It, if, if one of the spouses call and just say, Hey, babe. Hey, boo. What you doing? What you doing? Mm. You good? That's the first thing she going to say. You good? What you calling me for? And then she say, and then he say, you know, I was just thinking about you, man. You so sweet. And uh, I just I just want you to know that I love you. What you done done? <laughs> man, ain't done nothing but think about you. You were running through my mind. <laughs> she goes, oh, boy, I was right through your mind. <laughs> I got something for you when I get home. You got something for me? Well, if she ain't, want, if she ain't on there. Hey, listen. Like, we oh, just both, of your, both of your. Listen. Both of your examples ended with somebody coming to get something at the end. Come on. But, you but said the up. word. Come on now. But listen. What if what if they're not on it? Like, they not. Patrick, this like, is my scenario. Girl, okay, this is our scenario. And they are caught. Now, remember, y'all, he said that they're they cordial. were cordial. Right. I that you. means that, that hey, it's some, it's, it. some, it's, some, it's some, you right. know, peace going on. They just hadn't really invested in the friendship part. Yeah. You know, looking. You know, and it's, it, it's interesting. It's just like be, working at a, a, a corporation. You got all this benefit package, but you never looked and see to That's see dope. how, what all That's comes dope. with it. Like, I never, I never looked into it. Like, yeah. look. 
looking to it. The What's only your time benefit I co- package yeah, in your marriage? That's yeah, dope. what is it? It's like, hey, wait, they be laughing and smiling together on his wife or husband. Why you smile at me? Like, you know, don't do that. Not, not, no, listen, what I'm don't saying is, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying tell that to your spouse. That, don't what even, I am saying nope. is in your mind, Patrick, you're not listening. I am My listening. My point is this. It's not to compare, but it is to stop and consider. Like sometimes we see people experiencing and enjoying life, and it's like, hey, I want a vacation every year I too. I'm not comparing it, but it's right. like, man, they happy. They on some well, happy stuff. Okay. <laughs> I got excited because <laughs> I was trying to make the point. See, we just had a moment, but you know, the, the thing, anyway, going back to that. Now, listen, Patrick brought noticed something that it all ended up with, <laughs> you know, coming together. <laughs> right. So listen, the Lord has designed it yes. that if you all touch each other, right. the communication is the meta communication is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You hear me? If he, if, if, if listen, uh, men, or uh, husbands, if you know that you don't have your wife's undivided attention and you just call and interrupt her day, don't want nothing as far as did you pay the bill? Your car need gas again? Like none of the none of life issues. Okay, right. you just calling because you noticed her smile or you noticed her full s- transparency. So my my we have an issue like that in our in our marriage where we did. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't complimenting you because I didn't. Oh yeah. I wasn't just because. But you text did. Mess- you were. I just. No no no. I wasn't. Okay. okay. You know, just because text message, just because you know. And then I was I was re- I was, you know, coming home bummy looking. You Look, know life was happening. That's what I'm saying. You can just get caught up in life. It's not that you were neglecting, so, but yes, it you, was. It was neglectful, but you wasn't neglecting. I don't know what that means. Okay. So the whole point was <laughs> I wasn't doing. What she desired, and so her love language, I wasn't giving her number one. I think all five should be given. Yeah. But that number one love language, I wasn't given, mm-hmm. and it became it began to create things in her in her heart in her mind that she didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't like the way the marriage was going, and I had to take a step back. Um, Thank you for taking a step back. I had to take a step back and realize, okay, wait a minute, what am I, what am I not doing? It's like, I like why it. am I not complimenting? Why am I not? And so this, I think, text mission was kind of popular then. You just getting it's on too popular now. Mm-hmm. But you know, it would be look. So th- here's my problem. Here's here was my problem. My problem would be, I would see her, and I wouldn't say anything. Like I would see, like, oh man, she looks sexy today, but I would never say it. Or you know, she looked. You know, man, she looked happy today, but I would never say anything or just anything, and I wouldn't compliment. Or I'm at work thinking about her, but never send a text don't message. Don't reach out, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I dropped the ball a lot in doing that, and she was getting that. And I, I would say it began to create issues, not not major issues because we were, we were cool, but it was it, it could mm-hmm. easily have gone wrong. Oh, rogue, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it could yeah. have easily gone rogue. Yeah. And so for me, I started doing those things without asking for anything. Uh, I think the other day I helped her with the dishes, and that was a turn on. I don't know why. Hey, hey. I don't understand why that hey. is, but it is. Hey. And, uh, yeah, look, it's just those little, it's those little things. And that going back to what I was saying, and, and we're living in a day and time. Where connecting or reaching now is easy. You may you may not feel like let's say you're not cordial, you're not on speaking terms or whatever, mm-hmm. but you know that you want to do your part as far as a spouse. Man, send a text, mm-hmm. uh, 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 send a picture of the two of you in times past. Go back down memory lane and yeah. reminisce. You probably got twenty thousand photos in your phone yeah. of when it was good. Right. Then you do that, and if you don't have any, then go back to the old. Oh, good old fashioned photo book. Mm-hmm. It's something there. So that's a good thing in terms of helping with the friendship. Oh, excuse me. Go Love ahead. letters. They work. Mm-hmm. You know, leave your panties on the uh, seat. The clean ones now. <laughs> the pretty clean ones, not 
<laughs> not your grandma panties, but those lace pants, the ones that you know he said, man, he, he liked, liked those. Mm. That's what you do. You mm. put them in the lunchbox. When he pull out his sandwich, <laughs> you hear it. I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving, we giving y'all some good practical things to do. So, and listen, when somebody knows that you love them and like them, yeah. friendship occur. Mm -hmm. You automatically want to call and spend time and share moments right. and, and experience moments with them. Mm -hmm. So here's a good thing about what we're saying. Again, it's a process. Here's what else it does over time. It makes the disagreements less painful. It or makes it, it easier. Makes it, it makes the disagreements a little easier to disagree without a yelling match or a cage match. You know what I'm saying? So those things actually, they actually work. At least and when it, it, you... Go ahead. And when you have to square up, make sure it's on that mattress. <laughs> I did say it. I did say it. I did. I said it. Oh, that's another conversation for another another episode. I'm telling you. And, and, we're, we're getting to because I want to actually want to talk about that. So we could look yeah. at Corinthians and then we we can talk about yeah. that too. Yeah. All right. Look, God. Let me tell so, y'all something. Hold wait, on, before wait, you go wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, no. Paper scissors rock. <laughs> what the, oh. All right, so <laughs> here's another thing. Begin to not only get into the, that that rectangle box, but is it rectangle square? Okay. I, this rectangle, mm -hmm. but also get That's into each other's world. You know, so we're talking about helping the, helping the friendship. Mm -hmm. Like, what do they like doing? Mm -hmm. I know you hate it. Yeah. But get into their world anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't like it, but this is where he likes to go. Get into his world. And be cute when you go. I'm not talking about strip clubs. No. I hear about husbands and wives going to the strip club See what together. I'm talking about? There go That's again. not what I'm talking That's about. That's stupid. I'm talking about his, what's his hobby? Does he like cars? Okay. Be there and, and hand him, you know what I'm saying, a, a socket wrench. Or, you know, does she like. Cute. She like, you know. You know, I don't know what she what she like. Be there and sit down and, and just get your magazine and watch her try on, you know, a thousand shoes and only pick one. Like whatever that is, <laughs> <laughs> be there to do that. You, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Be and once be engaged and be present. Yes. Once you started using wisdom and events to help you cleave, again, we're talking about cleaving and cleaving. Like this is this is a command from God that we're to cleave. To one another. To one another. Mm -hmm. Like, so what does that take? What does that mean for your marriage? Yeah. What yeah. does that mean? Yeah. You know, and maybe she don't want, she, she might not like you washing dishes because you get in the way. She, like, whatever. So what can you do without wanting anything and you'll get everything if you do it, if you do it that Say way? Say it again. What can you do without wanting anything and you, you'll get everything? You'll get everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, friendship, 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 friendship. Sherman, 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 Sherman. Friendship is a benefit. It is. Mm -hmm. If you don't think it is, you need counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're, you guys. Oh, you know what? You know, you, you, yeah, excuse me. You will need, you do need counseling, but it's like why, you need to check out why, why don't you want to experience that and so benefit? So, may have to, that may, that may have to come up in counseling. a counseling session yeah, or yeah. a coaching session. I, I think I mentioned last time y'all you all that we we counsel, we don't counsel, we're coaches. We're marriage yeah. coaches. Uh certified marriage coaches. And, so. and it's a difference a, a, mm -hmm. uh, you know just for FYI purposes. A counselor helps you deal with the past and the present. Mm -hmm. Presently, you may be going through things or hindered as a result of something that happens in the past. A counselor helps you work through that. A coach comes from where you are now and help you get to where you want to be. You say, hey, I want a, a better dum to dum to dum Then a, 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 a coach come alongside, listen to what it is your goals are, and help point you in the right direction as not, not tell you what to do, but just give you some things to consider because basically you know what you want. You just maybe just need some encouragement on getting over there, knowing right. that you are deserving of it, and that's what a coach does. Yeah. So if that's you, you want marriage coaching, um, please send us an email to hiswifeherhusband97 at gmail.com, hiswifeherhusband97 at gmail.com. Also, if there are any questions that you feel 
uh, you want us to tackle on this particular uh, channel, uh, again, send those questions as well to his wife or husband, 97 at gmail.com. Anything else? That is it. That is all. Listen, friends, how many of us have them? Amen. All right, y'all. Take care. Take care.